The naked middleweight category is positively buzzing, flaunting potent offerings from all corners of the globe, hailing from Old Blighty is Triumph Street Triple lineup, a class staple, as it enters its fourth generation with the Road Focus 2024 Triumph Street Triple 765R and Racetrack Ready Street Triple 765 Rupees models, lest we forget the sold-out Street Triple Moto 2 edition with its all-around Olin suspension and incompromising clip-on handlebars. Though we didn't have a chance to ride the latter, the British brand's latest naked machines have dropped their covers to reveal chiseled new looks and are freshly endowed with cornering abs and lean angle-sensitive traction control for the first time in their illustrious careers. Things don't stop there with the 765cc triple-cylinder engine receiving performance enhancements and chassis tweaks pepping up handling. The paddock has been good for the Triumph, where engineers pass on tricks of the racing trade, raising peak horsepower to 128 on the RS and 118 on the R, while torque bumps a single digit to 59 pound-feet for both. It all starts at the top where shorter intake trumpets encourage high revolutions per minute power gains and feed an improved inlet port design. New valves and cams increase lift, playing well with the reshaped combustion chamber and piston, both of which are now milled to produce a higher compression ratio and cylinder pressures. That uptick called for stronger conrids and gudgeon pins. Delving further reveals slight tweaks to the crankshaft gear, balancer shaft and clutch gear. The road-going R and Racier RS are mechanically identical mills, and promote distinct personalities with individual states of tune hence the claimed HP differences. The siblings have the same ultra-smooth snarling charm that will make fast friends of anyone twisting their grips, pulling confidently from the bottom, leading directly to an inviting mid-range punch perfect for canyon apexes. The two personalities diverge toward the upper regions of the power band, where the RS top-end tenacity is highlighted on the circuit, Ringing out the Rev Happy 2024 Triumph Street Triple 765 Rupees is pure joy, as it never overwhelms and cheers riders on with its extra whiff of aggression. And we owe many of those positive superlatives to the revised gearing. Triumph has made modest performance gains seem mighty by slotting in a taller first gear, then shortening up the rest of the internal cogs and final drive ratios significantly. At the track those tighter ratios help catapult you off Harath's iconic blue and white apex curbing, while giving the super slick latest gen up and down quick shifter from the speed triple bun 1200 rupees, or RR a workout as you blitz through the revs. Finding the limiter is a lot easier these days. But on the other hand you can roll a taller gear into a corner and still get a good drive. There's more slap everywhere and it's a welcome addition on the road, seeing as riders will dig into the power that much easier. Triumph has tuned its ride by wire throttle ever so sweetly to make the fueling incredibly clean and responsive. The R does well with road, rain, sport, and a customizable rider mode, while the RS gets all that and the nanny curtailing track mode, each model is tuned individually, though all the modes work as advertised, ratcheting things up while clicking through the list with sport or track maps spot on for hard riding. The takeaway is that you'll feel a superb connection at the wrist, whether you are popping to the shop or wrangling your steed around the track. A considerable part of the 2024 Stripple update is the addition of cornering abs, lean angle-sensitive traction control, wheelie control and linked braking, first seen on the recent speed Triple 1200 rupees and RR. The selected ride mode dictates abs and TC intervention, but riders can mix and match settings as mentioned prior. Even with some spotty damp patches, the road ride didn't throw the model-specific tuned abs or TC systems for a loop. Linked braking adds a touch of the rear brake when the front lever is squeezed, settling the chassis when pulling the stoppers and is virtually indistinguishable. We sampled the RS's track mode where cornering abs and linked braking are disabled giving you all the leeway to trail brake deep and fixing the intrusive abs witnessed on the 2020 Triumph Street Triple 765 rupees. Likewise, the revised track TC gave me the confidence to pour it on while exiting Harath's many hard-charging corners, watching the TC light flash away without hampering drive. Simplicity can often go a long way. And the R's hybrid TFT or LCD is evidence of that. The LED tachometer is crystal clear and other information can be gleaned quickly. On the other hand, the RS's suitably premium 5-inch full-color display packed with enticing animations is visually stunning. However, the low-contrast pastel color palette and futuristic rev counter make it challenging to see when the red line approaches. 
With peak power being made nearly to the bitter end you'll find the soft rev limiter before you know it. A quick spec sheet gander and you'll notice that each triple steed is sharper these days. Rake, trail and wheelbase are all a little tighter. In the case of the R differing figures, apparently result from suspension setting fiddling. Meanwhile the RS takes things further by raising the rear ride height, which creates an even steeper 23 2-degree rake and shorter 382-inch trail, putting more weight over the nose.